Elon Musk wants to occupy Mars, and in his January inaugural address, Donald Trump said that we will, quote, pursue our manifest destiny to the stars, whatever that means. And he later reiterated this. He said, we want to conquer Mars, an empty desert, kind of easy to conquer. You just have to get there and walk. Anyway, anyway, that's not the point. The point is that it seems that this administration is poised to throw away the Artemis mission to the moon and focus intentionally on Mars. And as for a timeline, the only thing we have is from Elon Musk, who said he wants to send robotic starships, so uncrewed starships, to Mars in 2026. And if those are successful, to send a crewed mission in 2028. It's not happening. So either they're lying. I always tell the truth. Even when I lie. They know the truth that there's no possible way we're sending a crewed mission to Mars in four years. And also a starship is not landing on Mars in two years. Or they don't care. Or if they honestly believe this is true. I don't know which one of those three is the case, but it's simply not happening. Not today. First, let's talk about those dates, 2026 and 2028. These dates do not come from a an articulated plan where they've laid out the schedule. They know the technology demonstrations and the tests we need to conduct and the precursor missions we need to do. It's just the next open launch windows. We can only go to Mars at certain times because we have to wait for both Earth and Mars to be on the same side of the solar system. We have to be in conjunction. That way we have the shortest trip to Mars possible, the least amount of energy. And that only happens roughly every two years. There's simply the next time we could possibly send a mission to Mars with our current technology. And that's it. There's no plan there. I have part of a plan. It's like announcing a camping trip. It's like, hey, everyone, family, we're going on a camping trip next weekend. Even if you don't have any camping gear and your car keeps exploding. <laughs> Because that's the other issue here is that Starship, which is SpaceX's main launch vehicle that is going to transport stuff and humans to the moon and to Mars, that keeps blowing up. Less than two months after their seventh Starship flight, also ended in an explosion. A lot of discussions right now about whether the current strategy that SpaceX is applying is even going to work if Starship can deliver on its promises to be able to lift 100 tons to low Earth orbit and then beyond with refueling. And then if it wants to, it can come back down and land on the earth and be fully reusable. That's the promise. And it's not clear if all of those promises can be met. Even if they could though, even if tomorrow SpaceX were to launch Starship, it were to go in orbit around the earth for a while and then land back on the earth, there is no way. It's going to Mars in two years. And in no way is that depressing. <laughs> and that's because the way Starship is designed, it's, it essentially expends all of its fuel just to get into low Earth orbit. It needs to be refueled in orbit, and that is a technology we simply don't have. We do not have the capabilities, and we are not going to have the capabilities in two years to refuel a spacecraft in orbit like Starship. That kind of technology is in its earliest development phases right now. Development phases, not even tested phases. What? And then even if it could achieve that, the goal of Starship, if it wants to make it to Mars in 2026, it has to perform a powered descent landing on the surface of Mars, which is a feat that no spacecraft has ever done before. And then if it wants to return to Earth, you know, to, to be the precursor for a crewed mission, because we don't want to send people to Mars and just leave them there, then it has to lift off from the Martian surface, come back to Earth, come screaming through our atmosphere and land on the Earth. That has never been done. I guess we've sent samples back. We've done that kind of stuff before, but we've never sent an entire craft to another planet, landed it there, brought it back to Earth and landed it here. We simply don't have that technology. So the technology actually doesn't exist. That's just an uncrewed mission. That's just purely robotics. A crewed mission, uh, Starship is not 
certified for carrying crew because, you know, it keeps blowing up. It's going to have to not blow up a lot in order for a NASA to feel comfortable putting live human beings on it. We need to figure out how to have astronauts survive for a two-year mission to go to Mars and come back. That's two years. To go to Mars and come back, it is two years because you have to transfer, which takes several months. Then you have to wait the better part of a year, if not more than a year, for our planets to come back in conjunction and then a few months transfer back to Earth. Yes, there have been accumulated times in space stretching over two years, but not a single mission. Uh, say again, please. Houston, we have a problem. The closest analogy we have to a Mars mission is the International Space Station, which, after insulting one of its former commanders, Elon Musk, all of a sudden decided we should deorbit. The International Space Station is where we are testing the technologies and testing human conditions on how to prep for a mission to Mars and how to do long duration space missions. The ISS gets resupplied all the time. They're in constant contact with the ground where we can fix issues as they happen. A mission to Mars will be isolated with no backups, with no rescue missions, none of that for two years. Eventually I'm gonna run out of food. We do not have that technology. We cannot send humans to Mars in four years and, and have any reasonable confidence that they will come back home alive. We don't have that technology. We can't refuel in orbit, which Starship requires to go to Mars. It is not certified for carrying humans to low Earth orbit, let alone anywhere else. We do not have the technologies to refuel a spaceship on Mars and then bring it back to Earth and do two landings, like one on Mars and then one on Earth. We just don't have it. It's just not happening. Listen, I want to go to Mars. Not, not necessarily personally, but I would love it if humanity had the technology to go to Mars. I really do. It's not happening in four years. And again, I don't know if Musk knows this is true and is lying, believes in some fantasy version of reality where all of these problems can simply be solved. It's just not adding up. What really frustrates me is that we had a plan to go to Mars during the Obama administration. The Obama administration announced, hey, everyone, we're going to Mars. We're going to land a human being on Mars sometime in the 2030s. And we started developing the technological pathways to make that happen. Then the first Trump administration came in and said, you know what? We're not going to Mars. Mars is stupid. We're going to go to the moon. And that was the beginning of the Artemis project. And so we had to reshift all of our priorities to, to focus on a lunar mission. The Biden administration said, okay, we'll stick with Artemis. And now the second Trump administration calling the moon a distraction and that we should focus on Mars. And we've always been at war with East Asia. If we keep whipsawing back and forth, we're never going to make progress because we have to completely change technological pathways and goals and time lines and we're certainly not going in four years and of course elon musk wants spacex to be the the leader of going to mars it, it's it's all starships it's all it's all spacex it's its own company that is going to take us to mars in two years and then humans to mars in four years i don't know what the end game here is you know perhaps Musk's real goal is to restructure NASA to to eliminate science. There, there's discussion about NASA science being cut by 50%. And that all of this is a game to restructure NASA to simply funnel money into SpaceX and then not have to worry about deadlines, not have to worry about actually getting humans to Mars in four years because he doesn't have to answer any to anyone because he's already got the money and it will increase his already vast fortunes. That's that's a guess. Again, I don't know the motivation behind all this. I know Musk has wanted to go to Mars for a very long time. But going to Mars is really, really tough. And we already had a plan. We were already starting to work on that. And now because we've had to change so many things with the past few administrations, Starship is not going to Mars in two years. And humans are not going to Mars in four years. I wish it was different. I wish we were. I wish we were in, in like an alternate reality where we, we, we were developing these robust technologies. And I believe we can. I believe we can go to Mars, but it's not this way. This is not the path to Mars.